Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made this beautiful Valentine's bouquet. Again, with a teddy bear and a bubble balloon. So if you like more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Follow your girl, leave your comments, and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so let's start with my uh, base, my box. Now, these boxes are the sturdy kind. I wanted to get something um, smaller than that, and I just couldn't find anything uh, to do it. And um, I'm pretty sure you can look up online. It's called like hot boxes. And um, I'm not sure, but they are sturdy boxes. This one I just happened to have from a while ago. So I decided why not to use it. That's why the, the color is purple. <laughs> but anyway, so because it is purple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ribbon and turn it into a little bit more... Um, Valentine's festive. So what I'm going to do while I wait for my hot glue gun to heat up on the side, I am going to grab my ribbon and measure all around my box. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hot glue my ribbon to the box. But I first need to measure, okay? So, and this is kind of what my box will look like. So I'm going to cut, make an incision right here. Okay, now that I measured my ribbon, I'm going to choose which one is gonna be the front of my box. I feel like this one will be the front of my box, okay? And I want my, um, the back of my, where I'm going to meet my ribbon all the way to the back, okay? So it's not as noticeable. Now, this is a type of ribbon that has a little bit of a wire. So you can like kind of fold it like this and it will stay into place folded. That's kind of cool. So you don't lose your measurements. All right, so... Let me see if this is hot. Okay, this is getting hot. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm gonna make a few dots of glue right here. I'm hoping you guys can see me. So just be careful not to burn yourself every time you work with hot glue. I'm probably just gonna use the scissor. And you can do that all around the box. Just a few dots, maybe closer towards the corner so it's not as noticeable. Just like this. And so that I won't burn myself, I'm just tapping it with my scissor. <laughs> and do the same thing Try to make it so that the ribbon is kind of in the middle of the box. That's it, just two little glue dots. Okay. And that will just pretty much uh, take care of jazzing knit up a little bit my box. So, now we have my box, very pretty, empty inside. And now for the next thing is, I'm going to put my, um, my support where my teddy bear will be sitting. It's gonna be right in the middle. So I have my styrofoam discs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them to each other, because right now it's just a bunch of discs. So I'm just gonna make, you know, some nice glue. Just pretty much do it on top of each other. You know, 
don't go crazy wasting your glue it's just so that they're just stacked to each other that's all nobody's gonna see this part of the arrangement another thing to keep in mind you guys which I am mad I did not get but um, it's to bring some uh, weight onto your piece sometimes on um, at the dollar store they sell those um, I don't know if you've seen those water beads or you know like those fish tank um, rocks you can buy them and just put them at the bottom that way you bring some weight on your piece and it's not tilting but again the piece won't be heavy so I'm not too worried about it but if you were to sell this you definitely want some support so I will suggest to just get those uh, water or fish tank rocks and just put them at the bottom okay all right so this is now my last one okay and as you see it's not perfect but it's stacked one on top of each other so now this whole thing I want to put some glue in the middle and glue it to the base of my um, box okay So this is so far what I have you guys I know the light is um, not showing too much because it's against the white but this is what I have okay my piece right in the middle of my box <sighs> okay so now that I have this done um, I'm gonna move on to my teddy bear okay now with my teddy bear I mentioned before I have a couple of a few roses that I a bunch of roses actually um, that I got at the dollar store and my original thought was to um, place these uh, roses all around like a bed of roses so that my teddy bear can sit on top of that but um, I didn't quite have <laughs> my um, what do you call it wire cutters so I couldn't really size it to level my box. I was able to just get it this high and I feel like I only had a few roses so I didn't get a dozen or anything and um, I decided to just not do that. So instead what I'm gonna do is I feel like it will be still very cute to marry, bunch up, uh, three roses and with my twist tie right here with my little twist tie I'm going to put them together secure them together okay now you may ask why do I want to do this I'm building like a mini little bouquet of flowers okay and my teddy bear is going to be holding the bouquet how cute is that so listen you improvise with whatever you have and sometimes you'll be surprised the ideas you can come up with so now that they're all together and yes i do want the green you may not want too much green but i do i think it's so pretty together like this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach this little bouquet to my teddy bear right here like he's holding on to a bunch of flowers okay now I do have my little um, balloon um, ribbon or string I'm gonna cut a piece and I'm going to tie this up to his little arm to give the illusion that he's holding the bouquet of flowers okay 
So as you can see, I'm just tying it together to his arm. I mean, I've seen a lot of very pretty decorations out there and, you know, I would love to try them all. But, you know, at this time, two little babies, it's hard. So anyways, so now that I have them just like this, um, it's very important to have the stem right in front of him because these stems I'm going to uh, puncture in the base right here for more secure okay for more security so right now he looks like this but like he will tilt back or is weighing him down a little bit that's why I want my stem to be all the way at the bottom so that when it is time to sit him on my base I can um, puncture through the bouquet and he's like tilted forward okay but not yet, I'm not gonna say him yet, I'm just prepping everything and then building my arrangement together. So now I have my base, this is getting uh, cooled off. I have my teddy bear with my flowers. And now I'm going to move on, on to my bow. Now, I bought this ribbon right here that is almost like a sheer ribbon, but it also has at the end, at the edge of the ribbon, it has um, that almost like a wire, which is so cute because that means you can play around with building your bow. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take it apart, just like I did here, and I'm gonna measure how I want my fold to be. So this will be one fold, one loop for my bow. And I'm going to do another fold. And this is the two loops that I want my bow. So where it meets, that's pretty much the size of where I want my whole um, thing to fold. So I'm going to, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but if you know how to make a bow, you know, <laughs> so basically this is the length that I got and I'm measuring it to here. Why? Because when I pinch it in the middle, this is how big I want my loop to be. I hope that makes sense, but you'll see in a minute. So now I fold it one time. I'm going to fold it another time to the same size. Now I'm gonna fold it that way another time and forward and back okay and forward and I'm gonna do that a couple of times because I want for this to be a big bow and it's pretty much it doesn't come with a lot this is pretty much all I have so I'm gonna use the whole thing so this is it I'm gonna fold it fold it and that's about it. So, I'm just gonna cut right here. So far, just like that. All right, now that I have almost like an accordion, okay, I'm going to use a twist tie. And I think this time I have this fuzzy uh, twisty as well. You can use that or you can use this one. Oh, sorry. Or you can use this one. I'm using this one because it's longer and it's actually red, so it won't be as noticeable against the red as opposed to using the silver one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the middle. Okay, pinch the middle just like that. And I'm going to twist this may not even be the best way to make a bow you guys but this is the way I know so <laughs> if you have a better way I will act I would love to hear your comments actually on this 
So I'm gonna do it a couple times, just twist it around, okay? To secure it. Okay. Just make sure that it's in the middle. So this is so far what I have. Not pretty. So now I'm going to open up my loops stretch them out just like this and wiggle them to the side okay and basically that's what my bow is going to be it's going to be taken shape all right and i kind of like go like this and open the loops if some loops are longer the other than the other ones it doesn't matter I just want it to look as organic as possible you see that and then work my way down so I'm going to do the same now this is where the cut was no problem move my loop open them up stretching them out all right you guys so this is gonna be my bow now this right here, just to clean it up a little bit, instead of leaving it flat like that, I'm just gonna cut in an angle to make it look pretty. And on the other one, same thing, just in an angle. Okay. So this will actually, and then I have my little wire here, which is not bad. I, I want to see what I can do with it when I'm building my arrangement together. So now I'm okay. moving on to my bubble balloon, okay? Now, as always, you work your bubble balloon by stretching. Make sure you stretch, 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 okay? Now, this bubble balloon is um, a 36 inch, non-inflated, okay? And this foil balloon, I believe, it's a 12 inch or 18, but it's smaller than my bubble balloon. And you also have to, um, when you measure it together, it really looks as if my heart balloon is bigger than my bubble balloon. But once you put some air in your um, foil balloon, it will expand but shrink, okay? So it will be smaller than my bubble balloon. Now that I worked up my balloon, what I'm going to do is insert my foil balloon inside my bubble balloon. But before I do that, let me pump some air into my bubble balloon so it's not um, too tight. I want to give some room for my foil to be able to wiggle it in there. Okay, it's a little lopsided, but I just have to keep working it. If you don't know how to insert foil balloons in your clear balloons, I will show you in a minute. I'm not going to take too much time explaining, but if you haven't um, seen my video yet, I will post it up here. I did the um, inserting a Mickey Mouse head inside the clear balloon go check it out um that video is really helpful actually okay you guys so now that i stretched my bubble balloon i'm going to insert my foil balloon inside and i'm just have uh, my balloon stick and i'm just going to fold it in half and roll it and fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it okay now that i have it just like this going to grab the end of my clear balloon
So you see guys, now my foil balloon, it's inflated and it's self-sealed so the air won't escape, but the air will still escape from my bubble balloon. Now I can leave it this big, I think it's actually really good size. Just make sure, and it's tricky, that the seam, the seams of the bubble balloon aligns with the seam of my um, heart balloon. It is a little bit hard only because and like I try to touch it to make sure that it has enough air. You can always pump some more air, but I think that's good. So I'm going to now grab a uh, 160 balloon and I'm gonna tie it. And your balloon may turn a little bit and that's Okay, you guys, so now I have my base and I have some tissue paper. Obviously, if you have red, you can use that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place my tissue paper just to stuff it right in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just so that there's no holes. You can't see any holes in there. So I'm going to do that. And my teddy bear will be sitting right here. Okay, so remember I told you that my stems have to be long so that they can puncture the base right here? That's what I'm going to do. And that will also make him sit a little bit straighter. So I'm just going to dig and make a hole right in there. Okay. All right, you see you guys, now it's sturdy. All right, so far so good. So now I did mention I have some uh, petals. And I think I'm just going to I don't know that I need to glue them one by one. You can, I'm not sure. You can put, I'm going to just stuff it in there. You can glue some of them if you want. It's just really mainly to cover. If you use red tissue paper, you can, you won't be able to tell much but it's just so that I can cover. I may wanna glue some on the base, but I don't wanna mess with burning the teddy bear. <laughs> you know? Okay. Just stick them in there. And the tissue is serving as a filler too. So remember that. All right. So now that I have it so far like this, in the front, I may wanna do something, so I'm not sure. So far I have him just like this. Okay, you guys, so I ended up for the bigger one because it's a better support for my bubble balloon. The other one is too little and too flimsy. So, and this is a little on the heavier side only because the big balloon is in there. So I don't know if you guys can um, see, but I was able to um, stick the uh, stick right in the um, foam right here. All the way down, I went all the way down. So it's secure enough, okay? Now if you decide, you can uh, hold on your teddy to the stick and secure it even more. I don't think, in this case, I think it's fine. But this is so far the look of what I have here. And it's a different version, a different take on the, um, the one I did the other day. So, now for the finishing touches. Yeah, 
And remember, I have my little twist ties here. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna weave it through. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. All right, how cute is that, you guys? Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so let me show you the final look. Hi guys, okay, so this is it. I hope you liked the video for today that I had for you guys. I mean, what a wonderful gift. You can stuff the box with anything you want. Chocolate, candy, uh, rose petals, confetti, you know, I mean, and you can utilize the box later. This bubble balloon will last you for a long time and you can use the cute teddy bear. Um, I think it's another different uh, arrangement compared to my last video and I'm still in love with the teddy bear feel and it screams Valentine. I mean, look at the colors, just Valentine's all over, <laughs> right? So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao!